Uh, good morning, friends. The most respected principal of the college, Adi Sujjalangari College, Kamba. The most respected organizers, Sushila Madam, HOD of uh, BBA department, and all the faculty members of the college, and my dear participants. A very, very pleasant and joyful morning to each and every one of you. It gives me immense pleasure to be a part of this webinar of Entertained free and open access e-resources for uh, teaching, learning, and research. Let me start the uh, presentation. Yes, here goes. And uh, dear friends, in this generation, in this century, we talk about the influence and the penetration of E. Wherever you go, E follows us. Whether it is uh, e, uh, e, EB payment or uh, the payment of taxes or the payment of uh, tuition fees or the transfer of amount from one person to another person or transfer of content from one person to another person. Wherever e-commerce, e-retailing, e-marketing, e-learning, e-selling and what not. So we are in the e-world. We are in the world of a mouse click away. And what happens? what kind of effect this kind of environment has got on the teachers, on the learners, on the researchers. Long back, we used to manage the information using desktop, but nowadays we have a laptop and a very handy smartphones with us. And what about the resources we make use of? Once upon a time, we were confined ourselves only to traditional and printed resources. Now, we have empty number of E resources and we make use of all these resources either for your classroom transactions to learn and improve your knowledge or to prepare your assignments projects or uh, for some seminar paper preparation or to write some workshops or to organize your club meetings or to carry your research work so for each and everything we just go to google we just go to online resources and we resort to e resources rather than print resources many a times and what are these e-resources? Simply, e-resources are those resources which are available in the digital form, which are available in the electronic form, that can be accessed using an electronic device like computer. One is, the materials are available in digital form. And secondly, to access those digital electronic files, you need some electronic devices. Fine. For example, we have electronic books, electronic journals, e proceedings, e patterns, e standards, and the list was limitless. And whereas uh, form is concerned, we have electronic resources in many formats, maybe in PDF file, maybe in uh, HTML file, or maybe HTM file, or ASP files, and many more. So, this is the time for us to make use of electronic resources. And where are they available? So basically two categories of resources. One is free and open access resources which are available free of cost to everybody. And there is another thing called a commercial or paid e-resources. So unless otherwise you make payment, you may not be able to access those resources. So basically two categories of resources are there. And the third one called open educational resources. Once again, they become a part and parcel of open access resources. Then what are these open access resources? The resources which are uh, available, which are released under a uh, open license so that uh, anybody would be able to access this digital contents and they be able to make use of these digital contents. Basically two kinds of open access uh, paths are available. One is a, a green path, another is a gold path. What is a green path? So you are an author, you have prepared a paper, before your paper is accepted by the publisher, whatever the preprint, whatever the earlier, before published version of your paper, those papers can be archived, can be deposited in the institutional repository of your institution. So that kind of archiving is known as green open access. So what about gold open access? This is a very popular model wherein the open access journals ask the authors to pay a specific amount towards article processing charges and they make your paper 
freely available online in their journal website. So that kind of access called as gold open access. Fine. Now what about this OER? See OER also open access resources, but they are special resources in the sense they're exclusively meant for teaching, learning and research resources. And they are available in the public domain or they are free to use and they're free to repurpose. So we talk about uh, uh, repurposing here, which makes uh, open educational resources differ from open access resources. As far as OER concerned, you can take these resources, you can use them as such. Uh, if you want to make any modification in them, you can make modification in them and you can use it. And if you want to take two or three open educational resources, you have to take modification in all the resources. You want to combine them, you want to merge them, you want to use it as a resource, you can use it. Okay. If you want to distribute the original version, you can do it. If you want to distribute the mixed version, the version which you have altered, you can distribute it. So this is a kind of redistribution, this kind of reusing all these things are possible in the case of open education resources. Fine. Now what we are going to do in today's session is that I am just going to give you a screenshot of various websites from where you can access the so-called uh, free resources, the so-called uh, open access resources and the so-called uh, open educational resources. Fine. One minute. Uh, welcome back friends, uh, due to some power interruptions, I was uh, forced to cut the session, I'm sorry. And let us continue our uh, presentation now. And as I told you, we have got uh, free resources, open access resources and uh, open education resources. They all mean basically one thing. The electronic resources which are available free of cost in the public domain. Fine. Now, let me uh, begin to give you a lot of snapshots of free and open access resources which you can use for your teaching, learning and research purpose. And as usual, you have to start with Google, there is no other Google because Google is our God, G for Google. So Google is the first and foremost uh, search engine for each and every one of us. Invariably, we go and surrender to Google and we search for the information in Google. So let us be clear with uh, uh, the various ways of uh, searching with Google and try to improve and enhance your skills in searching and uh, getting required information from Google. See, I just tried to the artificial intelligence uh, in 0.5 seconds, you get around 49 crores of documents, right? That's what Google gives you. And you should be able to use all these kinds of advanced searches. You can restrict your search to a particular time period. If you're searching for a picture, then you can restrict your search result to any color or full color, block and white, with this format, that's what, that format the portrait uh, size or landscape size, you can decide all those things. Using all kinds of filters, you will try to get the most relevant information from Google. And you can make use of something called advanced search in Google where you can think about, uh, I want the results only in Tamil language. I want the result only from European continent. I want the items only which are in PDF format, only in uh, PPT format, only in Word format. Uh, this way, you can restrict your uh, search. And a couple of days before when I searched for the artificial intelligence, it gave around uh, 78 crores of documents. Suppose if I'm a teacher, I'm preparing an e-content on artificial intelligence, then I may need to take some contents from these kinds of websites. But how can I decide which content can be taken by me and use a part of my uh, e-resource package, e-resource module? Please understand all the contents available in Google cannot be made available uh, as a part of your e-content. You have to look for only those materials, only those materials which are free from copyrights. Only those who got the license for reuse and redistribution. So how to find out that? Please click on this settings, advanced search. There, there's an option called usage rights. By default, not filtered by license is the option selected by Google so that all the contents will be displayed as a result when you give a query. But if you want to find out only those materials which are free to use, free to share, which can be modified, which can be modified and shared, 
please click on any one of these options which are available under advanced search options of google so that you will be able to get only those items which can be used by you which can be shared by you which can be modified by you which can be shared modified and again shared by you so only those kinds of materials you need to filter you should find out and in those materials you can use for all your uh, e content the preparations fine see one here copy left materials are resulted good Uh, then apart from google for general searches if you are a scholar if you are a teacher if you are a, a pg or mc scholar then you may have to go to google scholar yeah search engine which is exclusively designed for fetching out scholarly publications so you can see here i just typed about digital library it has given me around 4 lakhs results uh, and they are all scholarly papers written by scholarly uh, uh, researchers you can see here the name of the paper the right so you can see Whether the PDF version of this particular file is available or not, just if you will click on this particular PDF archive at org, immediately you will be directed and you will be able to download the entire full text of this paper free of cost. And you can restrict here up to which year you want your results. For example, I just clicked the since 2013. The articles which are published till 2013 only need to be revealed. Fine. Apart from this, you can see the quality of the article which you are uh, uh, browsing. See, this article is cited by 103 researchers. That means this article has got 103 citations. This has got 39 citations. So, based on the citations, also you can select the best, the top most journals in a particular discipline. You can make use of those high quality articles in your review purpose. And apart from that, in Google Scholar. There is a start button. If you click it, you will get a screen, and Google Scholar provides you how you can prepare uh, the referencing for this particular article. Whether you want the reference in MLA style, APA style, Chicago style, Harvard style, Vancouver style, so just click it and paste it. So reference management is very very easy when you get the material in Google Scholar. Good. There comes a special search engine from uh, Academic dot Microsoft. Microsoft company gives search engine wherein. You can search around 23 crores of documents, publications which are available in a, a free access domain, and uh, where you can go and search for authors, topics. You can search for conferences. You can search for journals. You can search for institutional output. You can try this search engine too. And there is another search engine called the Base, a search engine developed by a university. It has got around 16.4 crores of free documents from. Seven thousand nine hundred sources. That means they have not just aggregated and made available to you the free resources. They have culled the resources from eight thousand institutions, academic and research institutions. Those valued research documents, those valued scholarly communications are made available in the search engine. Then comes Get the Search. It's another very good search engine for getting peer-reviewed research papers. Two options are available. If you click on Open Access and type a keyword. You'll get only those materials which are available for text openly. Then comes the research engine called the Wolfram Alpha search engine. It's a computational search engine where you can go and do all kinds of calculations. It's maybe a simple calculation in chemistry or physics, or you want to convert your units, equivalent units, or you want to do some elementary mathematics, or you have some kind of uh, calculations in your uh, materials, uh, geometry, analysis, or art, all those things and all. The calculations can be done in this uh, search engine, and uh, apart from these search engines, they got lot of aggregators. So aggregators are those people instead of we, they go to the world of wide web. They collect all the relevant open access resources, and they try to make all these resources available free of cost in a single window system. You just go to their website, and you will be able to uh, access. a yeah, quite number of journals quite number of research papers and quite number of conference papers and what not so let us see a, a few popular aggregators so pdf drive is a very very wonderful uh, site you will get access to around 8.2 crores of uh, pdf documents you just go and type any textbook any title you will get minimum 10 to 15 documents full text you get so for example if you are interested in uh, python or moodle or spss package You just go and search for some media of uh, PDF files. 
I was uh, wonder to get around 50 to 60 books on Python, Moodle, and uh, around 70 books on SPSS. All are free. You can go just go and download. And this is the paper. It is the first multidisciplinary aggregator of open access journals and papers in the world. And they give access to uh, 13,000 journals and uh, 5.8 crores of papers. You can go and search only pure open access journal papers. You can get. Then core, this is another aggregator, open access aggregator. Then they give you access to 18.8 crores of documents from 7,100 uh, research and academic institutions. You can go and search and get it. And internet archive, a very beautiful on-site where you can get movies, software, music, uh, and the free books. You will not believe. If you want a book on uh, Chola period coins, if you want the earliest books on uh, Indian herbals and medicines, just go to Internet Archive, whatever books you don't get in any other Indian websites also. The so-called traditional classic books of India are Tamil. You can get in Internet Archive. PubMed, a special website meant for biomedical, nursing and medical literature. They have around 30 million citations and uh, half of them are free and half of them you can access at uh, uh, abstract level. There's another beautiful uh, aggregator called archive.org where uh, you'll get around uh, 1.7 crores of scholarly articles in the field of physics, mathematics, computer science, then finance, statistics, uh, then uh, systems economics, all are free, all are free, open access resources. Then a special uh, aggregator for agricultural research called uh, ehconsearch.um you can go and get agriculture related items here. And there is a uh, a special uh, preprint platform. I told you preprint is in a research paper. What you have before you, your paper is edited and approved and published by an organization before publication, whatever you have prepared, that's a preprint. And here is a special aggregator where they have collected all the free open access preprints on many different subjects, starting from arts to social science to mathematics to computer history. And uh, they got the lakhs and lakhs of preprints. You can search by author, keyword, subject category. You can go and search on all these things, and you'll get uh, preprints on all subjects. There comes uh, a World Bank uh, aggregator, the World Bank, you know, the international agency, and they have let 30,000 publications of uh, their publication unit to the world free of cost. You can go get the uh, books, journals, uh, serials, technical papers. All those things from Gold Bank to Open Access Site. Then there's a special uh, aggregator for economics, REPAC, Research Papers in Economics. You can see here. And uh, here we have got content from 89 countries, and we have got around uh, 2,300 journals in economics are covered in a single platform. You can go and search. And these are the list of journals what we have in REPAC, a, a, a good number of collections on economics. Then the so-called uh, Science Direct. The Science Direct is a, is a aggregator where you can go and get uh, scholarly papers on scientific, technical, and medical research. Though a good number of uh, papers are uh, only available at abstract level, like, yeah, yeah, a few, maybe around uh, one fourth of them are available even in uh, open access platform. You can go and search for uh, materials through keywords, author name, book title, journal title, all those things. And uh, this covers all the physical sciences, engineering, life sciences, health sciences, social sciences, and humanities and whatnot. And here is a, a different uh, open access platform called Open Access Button. And you can go and search for scholarly papers by using their IDs. For example, you know the URL of a website, you know DOI, Digital Object Identifier of a particular journal article. Or you know PubMed ID of a particular document, or you know the title of a particular article, you just come and give it exactly. And what they do is that when you give a keyword, when you give a, a unique number, something like that, they go and search for a particular article in hundreds and thousands of authors and distributors. If that is available free of cost, they'll bring it to you and give it to you. Fine, see it is available. You can go and I just try it for a particular uh, DOI. And they say the article is freely available and uh, uh, they give a uh, option you can go and download it no problem in case it's not available what they do is that you give your uh, uh, doi or pmi something like that they will request the publishers 
those may be having your article and they will try to collect the article from those authors those publishers and then they will uh, uh, let you get the paper so this is kind of wonderful service open access button you must uh, make use of it then comes uh, ssrn very popular one uh, uh, where uh, social science research network they got around uh, 9 lakh papers from 4 lakhs researchers in 50 different disciplines can uh, one search a good number of papers are available free of cost, around 60 percent. I just searched for an author, J. Argo, I got uh, 19 papers. And here they give you around uh, uh, papers on many different subjects. Uh, for example, computer science, around 10,000 papers, around uh, medical research, 14,000 papers, humanities, uh, 24,000 papers. So now you can just go and uh, explore. And these are about aggregators. Now let me come to an area where you can get access to open access journals. I just want only journals. I don't want anything else, only journals. What about the people, websites which give you open access journals? For example, one is a directory of open access scholarly resources called Road. Just get in this particular website. You can get uh, open access journals on all these disciplines. Fine. Science, arts, uh, media, medical, multidisciplinary, two science, everything, everything. And apart from that, you can get access to all these 21,358 journals you can get from this. And you got around 2,100 art journals from India. Fine. And you know, uh, nowadays the trend is that many commercial publishers, they have started following open access platform. For example, if the publisher has got around uh, 10 or 20 journals, at least one or two journals, they make it open access so that everybody can go on the uh, see and download. In that way, LSV's open access journals can be accessed through this particular website. LSV open access, you can go and search for the pages, books, journals, can uh, download. And here, an interesting search engine. This is a special search engine, which is exclusively meant for open access journals. Just like Google, you just come to OAJSU and all the subjects are available. You can click a subject. And the journals, the open access journals, which are available in that particular discipline will be listed one by one. For example, I tried for library science and I could get 56 open access journals in library science. And this way you can go and explore uh, the open access journals available in your particular uh, uh, choice of subject. Then comes open science directory. So yet another beautiful website where around uh, 13,000 scientific journal articles can be searched here. All are open access, you can be subject wise split up here. Uh, bibliography, education, geography, history, language, medicine, military science, novel science, psychology, political science, all those things you can get. Fine. I think you can search by journals by the name of their uh, title. You can, I just searched for systems biology and they got around uh, 15 items. And this is another uh, beautiful site, openaccessjournals.com. The beauty of this website is that. They were given a list of open access journals available subject wise. See, you can go and click on any subject and here you can see the list of journals available in that particular subject. Clinical and medical journals, these many journals are available free of cost for agriculture and this way. And just like uh, Springer, even elsewhere, even Wiley has got the Wiley company, the very leading publisher international wise, even they have let some of the journals in open access mode. Just come to this particular website, you can access all the open access sources being given by Wiley uh, publishers. You go and search for all the journals. You can get uh, resources on many different subjects. And this is uh, a beautiful uh, website meant for uh, uh, nursing people, for biology and zoology people and uh, medical researchers. J is called online. They are specialized only in medical care, maybe like uh, Dentistry or cardiology, cancer research or AIDS or bioinformatics, nanotechnology, pharmacology or forensic research. Only, only, only related to biology related or medical related aspects. Journals can get. All the journals are free. Fine. And there is a website called indianjournals.com. They got the thousands and thousands of journals, but they provide only 13 and journals in the open access platform. You can go access. Fine, there's a list of uh, free journals available in open access platform in indianjournals.com.
And once again, science direct typing, I told you already. And this is from Emerald Insight. Emerald is uh, another uh, leading publisher. Even they have made their open access resources. You can go and search. I just searched for a term constitution. I could get 734 articles on constitutions from this particular uh, Emerald platform. And this is a very beautiful uh, directory of open access journals, Doge. Directory of open access journals, Doge. Doge covers 48 lakhs articles and 14,500 plus journals. You can go on the search journal wise, you can go on search for articles. Fine. And this is a list of subjects on which these 14,000 journals are made available. You can go and select any one subject. For example, I selected law, but you can see around 20,000 articles are available on subject law. And uh, our Indian Academy of Sciences, they have all their journals made available online free of cost. If you take a very popular classic Indian physics journal called Pramana, starting from volume one until date, all each and every article published in each and every volume of Pramana can be downloaded from your Indian Academy of Science. See. 1993 uh, journal, particular Brahmana piece, you can go and uh, download articles. And the one again, once again, there is a beautiful Niskaya. You got an international, uh, not international, it's a national level organization funded by CSIR. Look at Delhi. They offered 18 of their research journals free of cost and three of their popular magazines like the Science Reporter, Vigyan Prakati, and the Science Kidunia free of cost. You can go and download all the journals. For example, out of those 18 journals, this one journal, Indian Journal of Bite, for example, from volume one until day, all the words, volumes can be browsed and you can download each and every one of the paper published in this particular journal since its inception. Fine. Niche And this is another uh, journal aggregator called uh, journalsforfree.com. You can get access to 1,72,000 journals. Free of cost. You can go on the Search for journal subject wise. For example, I searched for business and economics and I got around 728 journals. All the 700 plus journals are free open access. Fine. And those who are interested in science, please come to PLOS, Public Library of Science, a beautiful, high quality research papers on science. And they have around uh, seven open access journals. You can see here class one biology, computational biology, genetics, medicine, tropical diseases, pathogen. Those who are interested you can make use of these open access journals also. And here, in another uh, open access uh, journal uh, provider, Silent where they give you around 12.5 uh, crores of documents, of which, of which 2.8 crores of Full text articles are made available. You can go and search by author, by title, or any other keyword. You can download the articles free of cost. I just searched for a digital library, I got around 537 articles. And apart from these uh, kind of aggregators or journal directories, we've got yet another platforms where the researchers come forward, they deposit their articles to increase their visibility, they share the resources. And uh, they have a kind of a forum for discussions too. Two very popular such kind of research forums are academia.edu and the research game. And this screenshot of academia where uh, you can become a member, you can contribute your papers, you can share the papers, you can have discussions. Fine. The same way, I just searched for internet use in academia. I got around 15 lakhs documents, all free. And uh, research page, if you're having your uh, institutional email ID, then go and join research page. It's a wonderful site for uh, your collaboration, your sharing, and your uh, uh, visibility uh, purposes. Fine. And uh, now, let us look upon the other side of the coin. Apart from these kinds of search engines, aggregators, and journal directories, there is an, another concept called institutional repositories. This is for example, uh, Adi Engineering College is there. You've got uh, uh, hundreds of uh, uh, faculty members, uh, research scholars, PG students. You just imagine the research output of all the faculty members of your college, the journal articles, the book chapters, the books, conference papers, 
you are lectures, you are key content modules, you are institutional outputs in the form of annual report, your calendars, your activities, your programs, your students' contributions, their research papers. If you convert all these things into a digital form and make these resources available in a single platform, either for your own institution or for the entire world, that kind of initiative, that kind of digital endeavor is called as institutional repository. A platform where you convert all your indigenous intellectual output of your organization and you make this intellectual output available in a digital form to all the members of your institution or to the entire world, then that is an institutional repository. So, there are hundreds of research institutions in India and thousands of research institutions in the world. They are ready to share the content, research content and scholarly output of their own institutions. So if you're able to go and see the research output of those institutions, which may be specialized in a particular uh, scientific uh, domain, and you'll be able to get better scholarly papers, better research output. For example, here is a directory called Open Door. Open Directory of Open Access Repositories. Door, D-O-A-R, Directory of Open Access Repositories. They get, uh, they give you access to more than uh, 5,000 institutional repositories. You can go and uh, you see all the repositories country-wise, continent-wise, subject-wise. You can go and uh, see and download the contents which are available in those 4,000 plus institutional repositories. For example, you can go and browse the repositories. And there is a, another uh, repository called uh, ROAR, Registry of Open Access Repositories. This is also a repository of repositories. Here, you will be able to get access to 4,725 institutional repositories. You can go and uh, access all these 4,700 repositories. You can download data. And this from India, around 130 are there. Uh, recently. And this is an example of uh, institutional repository of IEM Code Code. Those who are interested in management you can go and see the collections here on economics, finance, organization. The kind of research being carried out in a leading institution like IEM Calicut. You can go and download the things. And Kusat, Cochin University of Science and Technology. Those who are interested in science and technology, please go to Kusat. Their institutional repository provide you all kinds of materials research publications of uh, PUSA. For example, you get uh, 164 articles, 17 books, 74 uh, institutional events, and uh, department-wise contributions you can see. Computer Science 2, 57 uh, research papers are available, Polymer Science, uh, then uh, Legal Studies, Electronics, all these things. And uh, a very important uh, institutional repository called uh, uh, GIPE, Gokhale Institute of Politics and Economics. See, in our college, many students from economics, they used to come, geography, they used to come and ask, sir, please give us population data, census data, um, maybe from 1951 to till date, what is the population and what is the residential uh, uh, demarcations, what about the agriculture fields, what about the crop pattern of a particular state, particular district for, uh, for, for years to get. So the best site, you can use it, uh, uh, this Gokhale Institute of Politics and Economics. And there are a lot of collections. One very popular collection is uh, census documents. From 1911, from 1911 till date, all the census data, state-wise, district-wise available. You can just uh, make use of these things. Fine. And uh, maybe uh, we have got uh, a couple more right of items. Uh, uh, I'll take one more item before we have break. And this section talks about uh, open access theses, the dissertations, and books. In many a time, the PhD scholars, they publish their research output as a thesis or a dissertation. And a lot of uh, open access resources are available for you to get access to all these free resources, dissertations, and books. What are they? One is OATD, Open Access Thesis and Dissertations. And they give you around 4 lakhs of uh, open access thesis. You go on the search. I search for marketing. I go around uh, uh, 600. I'm sorry, around uh, 1,91 thesis on marketing in English. You can go and search. 
and this is another uh, open uh, open thesis platform from Procus, the publisher, leading publisher, and they give us access to around uh, thousands of uh, theses. I searched for uh, uh, internet access, and I got around uh, 37 theses on internet use from Procust. And this is another beautiful website, the NDL TD. Uh, it's nothing but a network or a digital library of theses and dissertations. The beauty of this website is that they give you a list of open access resources for getting free theses from various countries. From Armenia, Australia, Bangladesh, Canada, Euro, Finland, Germany, Pakistan. So they give you from each and every country what is the source, what is the website, from where you can get their country's open access thesis and dissertations. Just give a click on these links, you will be directed to a website where you can get access to all the open access thesis from that particular country. For example, uh, this is a website from where you can get uh, open access thesis of uh, South Africa. South African thesis and dissertation, you can uh, go and search, you can search by browser by titles. And this is a very popular uh, open access thesis platform, Ethos from UK, and uh, they permit you to search 4,75,000 uh, theses, of which, of which 1.6 lakhs theses are available for test. You can go and search, fine. I tried for a graph theory and I got uh, hundreds of theses. Then I'm very, very proud of uh, uh, telling you that uh, Indian government's initiative, Mr. Acharya, we have one beautiful repository of Indian thesis and uh, dissertations, ETD, Electronic Thesis and Dissertations called Shod Ganga. If you come here, uh, around uh, 440 universities are contributing, or have contributed, 2.7 lakhs of full text thesis. You can go and uh, search. These 2.7 lakh thesis, Attai to attai, cover to cover, you can go on to see, you can go on download. For example, you can go and search for the universities, all the universities in the alphabetical order given. Go and select a university. For example, I selected Manon Maniam Sundarna University, which has got around 3,561 open access theses they have listed. If I click, I'll get all the departments. I click Department of Chemistry. I get around 162 theses on chemistry alone from the department of uh, chemistry of uh, Yemen's university. All the 162 are listed. You can go on to select the one you like. The entire information about the thesis. And all the chapters of thesis are displayed. Whatever you want to download, maybe title, certificate, declaration, acknowledgement, chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you can go down. Fine. Wonderful uh, initiative of government of India. It is another uh, open thesis platform from UK, e-thesis of White Rose Consortium. You can go and get the uh, e-thesis in the terms of year or department or author. And the beauty of this uh, website is that not only PhD thesis, even uh, uh, MPhil thesis and PG level thesis are also included as a part of uh, this e-thesis uh, platform. You can go and download the thesis. And as far as books are concerned, we have DOAB, Directory of open access books where you can access around 10,000 academic peer-reviewed ebooks and chapters. You can go and search for uh, uh, ebooks by title or subject or publisher. Or you can click a particular subject, you can get access to the ebooks available over there. And there's another uh, uh, open access uh, ebooks platform called oapn.org. You can go and search for free books. You can go and browse. Uh, uh, for the books on humanities, economics, literature, law, mathematics, science, all those things are there. And you can search by authors also. There's another place where, oa.simmons.edu, where they have listed all the open access book publishers of the entire world. You can go on to see uh, what are the publishers who publish open access books. You can give a click on these leading publishers, you can get only open access books. And Bujanbak, a very, very classical uh, site, which provides you around 59,000 free books. And especially those who are interested in English, those are just a home signs, or fine arts, or home decorations, or English classics, who come to uh, Bujanbak. And you can get uh, uh, audio books, you can get uh, uh, music, uh, recorded music, you can get uh, pictures, uh, stills, and you can get books of offering catalogs. All these things are possible in uh, uh, Bujanbak. Fine. 
and this is another article called Hachai Archives where you get around uh, 19 crores of publications including journal articles, conference papers and uh, books. That is 7,000 books they are giving you free of cost. And this is a very beautiful site though it has got only uh, around uh, 400 books. All the 400 books are rare books. In the world, the most rarest books, the rarest books of the world universities and institutions are found out. They are scanned and they are just found out books, but very, very rare books. Rare book dot, rare book room dot. Oh, as you can just see. And as far as Tamil is concerned, we have Tamil Virtual University, Tamilview.org, where you can go and access all kinds of Tamil literature. Whether you want Ilakanam, Sambal, Sangalakyam, Aimberin Kapiangal, Aimberin Kapiangal, Palangarin Kapiangal, or Natipura Padangal, or Sitarilakyam, whatever you want, you can go and get from this Tamilview.org and initiate your program of Tamil Nadu. If you want dictionaries, you want nationalized literature, everything is available. Not only that, Maybe Ahana Nuru, Prana Nuru, Kurunji Patu, Patu Patu, all those things. They give not only the lyrics, original lyrics, and they also the translation. Not the translation, we mean the meaning of those lyrics also are available. We go to Tirukural, but each and every Tirukural, they give a meaning, expanded meaning of Tirukural. Let's try. And there's yet another uh, project of, uh, called uh, Project Madre Bear around uh, 450 plus open access classical things of uh, Tamil you can get from here. Starting from Tirukural, you get Kandasan poem, uh, you get Arthamulla Indumadam, Kondin Selvan, Sivamin Samadam, all such kind of uh, classic things in Nalaya Divi Prapantam, Tiruvasagam. Those things you can get both in HTML format and uh, PDF formats. And online newspapers, this, sing this single website will give you uh, the country wise. The content-wise, the language-wise newspapers, all the newspapers we won't read free of cost. And that's a part of uh, this particular session. Let us have a short break. I'll be back after uh, five minutes. Uh, welcome back, friends, to the uh, last uh, piece of this presentation. Uh, let us continue. We have been talking about uh, the available uh, free open access and uh, open education resources. And as a part of uh, this, I like to tell about the data repositories. See, researchers are bothered not only really about primary data, sometimes in some cases, especially in the social sciences and economics, business, commerce, you need secondary data. The data which was already collected by somebody, the data which was already collected, curated and discussed by somebody, so those secondary data also will be needed by many of the researchers. So when you want such kind of data, you can always go for open access data repositories. The data repositories where such kind of research data, such kind of uh, uh, economic data for the country or a state will be made available free of cost. So let us look into such kind of data repositories. So this is a very popular uh, registry of research data repositories. If you go to r3data.org, you'll be able to access hundreds of data repositories free of cost. And this is a government of initiative of uh, Indian government, data.gov.in. You'll get around 3.8 lakhs of data resources from this particular uh, government website. You get uh, the data from 173 Indian government departments you get authentic data secondary data right and this is another one exclusively meant for those who are interested to get data on earth and environmental sciences please come to this particular uh, data repository called uh, data1.org here you'll get uh, data on earth and environmental issues all the original research data you get from them then Fixture is a common repository where you can get data from hundreds and thousands of uh, uh, institutions free of cost. And this repository is from Microsoft organization and they have uh, Microsoft Research Open Data where you can get research data on many disciplines like uh, natural language processing, computer vision, domain specific sciences and many many such kind of uh, uh, original data. Then as far as Tamil Nadu is concerned, the line of uh, government of India, we have 
pn dot data dot gov dot in where we look at uh, data around uh, 18,168 resources from 61 departments of Tamil Nadu government are available free of cost here. And just go and search for uh, department wise, source wise, sector wise, uh, group wise, uh, you can go and search for data. And uh, the most importantly, we have indiastat.com, uh, the most comprehensive e resource of socioeconomic data. Okay, whatever you want, whether uh, uh, whether you want the data on administrative units or agriculture, industry, insurance, petroleum, power, tourism, social welfare schemes, everything. So they provide you free data on 32 different economic categories. You just go and click any of the categories you like and you'll get the data. Fine. And apart from that, they give you uh, a link to state-wise and state-specific websites that provide you these kinds of authentic data also. And, uh, and this is an initiative of ICSSR, Indian Council of uh, Social Science Research, and they have made all their research uh, data available online free of cost. Just go and uh, uh, search for your data sets on debt and investment or tourism or education or enterprise or housing, healthcare and whatnot. And as the students and as the teachers, we would like to get study materials which are related to our uh, uh, PG level or UG level uh, children. Here, I'd like to give you a couple of uh, wonderful websites where you can get study materials. And uh, this is one of the best study materials website, e Gyan Course, where all the IGNO study materials, Indira Gandhi National Open University study materials, all the certificate courses, diploma courses, UG courses, PG courses, all the courses, all the study materials are available. Just go and download as uh, zip files or PDF files and this is another uh, wonderful initiative which I frequently use in my library uh, EPG EPG e Pathshala, an exclusive study material website for PG students so what they done is that they have collected data from around uh, 70 different disciplines of PG level and they have made all the contents available free of cost for example, you see here, you can see around 22,000 plus modules around uh, any subject. You go to commerce, you go to biotechnology, botany, political science, philosophy, sociology, you go to English, food technology, you go to adult education, you go to education, anything, anything, just go. For example, I selected a paper called management. Each and every unit of that particular paper can be downloaded. So please remember, these are the study materials prepared by the experts of that particular discipline, so tailored might so useful to PG students. You can make use of it. Then, this one other private university called Lovely Professional University. They have made all their distance education materials free of cost. For example, I just went and tried for computer science. You can get study materials for uh, MCA or Master of Science IT or PG Diploma and C, uh, PG DCA or BCA or Diploma for all the courses. All the subjects, all the papers, semester papers, materials are available in PDF format. You can go download all the things. Then, if you come to South Part of River Tamil Nadu, even Alahappa University, they have made all their distance education study materials available online free of cost. Just go to this particular web page, book materials, whether you want semester one, two, three, four, click a semester, go to B economics, whichever things you want, you want economics, history, any, any BBA, any department, you can go and download the things. All the distance education materials of Alagappa University are made available free of cost. Fine. And if you come to National Institute of Open Schooling, even they have made their materials all free of cost, study materials. And the crown of all such kind of uh, websites is Vidya Mitra. This is a wonderful initiative of Government of India where all the educational endeavors of Government of India, they have got around 35 projects of Government of India on various academic educational research endeavors. And this is a single e-content platform to access the all the to access all the 35 projects of Government of India, including e Gyangos, e Patshala, e Flipnet, such, 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 all kind of endeavors. A single platform where you can go and search by title our institute, our subject, you can search for UG materials, PG materials for others, 
you want e tutorial we want e text so whatever you want you can go and search a single window platform for all the e content initiatives of government of india then the wonderful spoken tutorial.org and this is a beautiful website where they give you uh, video lectures on many subjects and many courses for example to be on uh, softwares like perl or php or python or r or library management softwares content management softwares just go there you can go and download all the videos all the videos you can go download the beautiful uh, videos you can go down and this atadan initiative of ministry of charity where they provide you virtual labs so many a time we may not be able to access the so called the highly cost high cost uh, equipments to carry out our research activities in many institutions so government of india provides you a virtual lab on all these subjects <coughs> on msp ssx engineering biotechnology computer science you can go and conduct your own experiments you can go and uh, test your uh, things and you can go and access to all the uh, uh, latest equipments virtual lab you can try and let me come to the last but one concept of my uh, presentation open educational resources the resources which are exclusively meant for teaching learning and research purposes which can be used which can be reused which can be distributed which can, which can be remixed for example in india government of india has uh, has got a concept called a national digital library which provides you access to 4.8 crores of resources either you can become a member or your college can become a member and uh, you can access different kinds of resources and different subjects for example you want uh, school level courses ug science ug other discipline you want language you want management you want law all resources and i uh, just search for business economics i could get around uh, 5 lakhs documents if you want you can search for ug level things or 11th to 12th level things or 1 to 4 class level things you can search for audio video course materials uh, quizzes you can search for pdf files word files you can go search by author you can search by subject you can search by access restriction that is full text or link and uh, in different languages please become a member of uh, national digital library of india and you know the swayam prabha where they provide you 32 live direct to home education channels on different subjects you can uh, uh, go and watch and this oer commons is very popular in international level open education resource platform where you can go and search for subject education level standard you can get thousands and thousands of course materials course packages you can get worksheets you can get the transcripts you can get the quizzes you can get such kind of all kinds of uh, education related aspects these are few subjects on which you can go and explore and create and this is another beautiful uh, oer website called viasis where you can go and search for the material subject wise anthropology astronomy biology fine arts that way and this is another uh, platform beautiful platform for oer called cnx where you got a lot of books free books free textbooks I mean free openly licensed textbooks you can go and download and make use of it and merlat is a very popular uh, uh, system international system is meant for uh, community of educators learners and researchers you can go on uh, search for materials either by the title or keywords or url isbn number author name you can go and search for and uh, the beauty of this merlat is that if you have a open access content oer content you can add a content If you want to create a material, they provide you a website or a platform where you can go and create e content. Or if you want to conduct a course, they provide you space. You can go and conduct a course. So, my lad, this is a versatile website. And this another open textbook library where they provide you seven hundred and seventeen textbooks. Only textbooks you can go and download from here. You can go and find out the textbooks and download, and on many different subjects. and this is an exclusive meant for uh, mathematics uh, from american institute of mathematics they provide you approved textbooks only textbooks they provide you on many different areas of mathematics and this is another uh, lyrx website where you get open textbooks on three subjects on business on economics and the mathematics and statistics 
can go and see. I can download the uh, open text. And as far as the MOOC is concerned, where you can go and do your courses online, massive online open course space. You come to Indian Initiative Swam. They provide you hundreds of courses, free courses. You can go and join a course. You can uh, two weeks course, four weeks course, eight week courses available on many different subjects. If you want a certificate, you can go to an examination or uh, just for learning purpose, just go and learn. Fine. And in uh, through why uh, Swam. NPTEL, NDPL, NPTEL, sorry, these are not NDPL, it's the NPTEL, National Program and Technology Enhanced Learning. They provide you 415 courses. And NCRT, the National Body on School Education, they provide 33 courses. And ACTE, All India Council for Technical Education, they offer 62 courses. And Indira Gandhi National Open University, they provide 21 courses. And National Institute of Open Schooling, they provide uh, 44 courses. And if you go to IM Bangalore, they themselves provide 46 courses. And uh, these are the courses you can access from Swine Portal. Apart from that, there are some other uh, uh, private institutions who provide the free courses. For example, Khan Academy, the best for school children. And uh, this is academicyearth.org where the top first colleges of the world, they provide you their free courses, you can go and join. And Coursera is a very popular uh, courseware platform. And uh, they have tie up with uh, more than 190 universities in the world. And we have a very popular EDX.org, EDX, they provide you 2,500 plus online courses from 140 institutions, all are free. And the last part of my piece talks about uh, the free and open access videos and pictures, what you can have. Uh, very, very popular uh, video website, YouTube. You go type anything, anything for that matter, you get videos. Fine, good or bad, anything. But as an e-content uh, developers or teachers, when you want to find out the videos which are having a proper license for using the videos which can be actually shared by us, you can do what can do is that. Go to YouTube, you type the topic, for example, I type for the statistics SPSS, I got a lot of videos. Here there's an option for filtering your content. Click on filter, there's an option called uh, creative commons, so click it. If you click it, what beauty is that? You can see the license of each and every video. For example, there's a video which I have selected, you just come down, there's an option called show more, click on show more, you'll get this particular, uh, just below your video, there's an option, license. Creative Commons Attribution License, Reuse Allowed. It means that you can take this video, you can use it in any of your e-content model preparation for your teaching, for your learning, for your research. You can reuse it, no problem. So you should find out the videos which have this kind of CC attribution, see the kind of attribution, then you can start using all those videos openly for your e-content modules and teaching your research. And there's another video platform called TeacherTube where you get materials on uh, science, maths, history, social studies, languages, and educational songs. So the audios, even audios you get from this uh, teacher tube. And there's something uh, beautiful it's called a school tube where the students of class uh, 1 to 12 can access your uh, videos, required videos for this school tube. And, uh, and this is a very beautiful site, pixabay.com, where you can access 1.7 million free images. Right free images, no copyright issue with those images. For example, I tried for COVID-19, I got uh, hundreds of uh, images, all are free and copyright free resources. There's another engine for search space for getting pictures called search.creativecommons.org where you can go and uh, search for images which are free to reuse, reuse. For example, I tried for uh, a particular uh, um, concept not only the results but on the licensing versions are also available you can find out the licensing versions and then you can decide whether i can make use of this image for my content marketing teaching or not hippocampus.org another very beautiful uh, video site where uh, around 7000 free videos are available in 13 different subjects they are free you can go and search and uh, the left side you can see the collection Click it, you'll get the subject, you click the video, you'll get the video. The three compartment, the concept of presenting the videos. 
and this is one of the beautiful website called videolectures.net see every day thousands and thousands of deliberations are going on the world many conferences workshops uh, uh, leading uh, lectures are being held all throughout the world and this particular video lectures.net what they do is that they collect all such kind of speeches deliberations lectures given by eminent scholars and scientists at various conferences schools workshops promotional events they have a wonderful collection of such kinds of video lectures of great scholars and scientists you can go and uh, download they are given subject wise biology 5 90 and video lectures environment computers physics medicine life sciences you can go and download the list is not uh, over here it continues so dear friends we have lots and lots of free and open access resources available on uh, internet one thing is what you need to remember is that you should exactly find out only the sites that will help me that will help my students and my scholars to get uh, the required content the authenticated content the content which can be used by us so as the learners as the teachers as the researchers let us try to know what are the various open access resources what are the various open education resources available to all of us and let's try to make use of these resources not only that let us try to share whatever a good resource you have made use of it see that you are sharing these beautiful resources with your friends with your students with your scholars and with all your good friends so thank you so much thank you for your patient listening thank you so much